から海賊王に値するか見せてみろ While the length of One Piece can be considered as a testament of the story's success, it has also deterred many new and potential fans from ever getting into the series. Spanning over two decades and a thousand episodes, One Piece has no shortage of outstanding and memorable moments. Luffy's adventures have taken him from the East Blue to Egghead Island and beyond, leaving no shortage of diverse scenes in between. By identifying the best overpowered scenes, it becomes easier to scale the series' characters and to understand the calamitous effects their battles have on the environment around them. Hey anime lovers, today we will be taking a look at my top 10 best moments in One Piece. If you enjoy this video please be sure to like and subscribe down below and without further ado let's get right into the video. Number 10 is Wings of the Pirate King. With the last of the Togoropo finally defeated, it seems that One Piece's climatic Wano arc finale is fast approaching. However, there's still a ways to go before Luffy can face Kaido once more. Onigashima is now only 15 minutes away from reaching the flower capital and King and Queen have not stopped wreaking havoc. Luckily, Chapter No. 1022 sees two of Luffy's most reliable Nakama, Zoro and Sanji, deliver a devastating blow to Kaido's All-Stars, all while reasserting their commitment to seeing their captain's dream realized in the process. Number 9 is Nami asking for help. For many, this was the moment that got fans to truly connect with One Piece. Before the Arlong Park arc, One Piece was still trying to find its way creatively and tonally, and it's easy for many today to look back and pick out a few of the series' growing pains. However, Nami crying for help and Luffy handing off his hat to comfort her is seen as the barrier between generations that marked One Piece's true growth as a series. Besides being one of the franchise's saddest moments, this was the scene that made fans connect to the Straw Hats as well as see Luffy as an inspiring leader. Number 8 is Zoro taking Luffy's pain. Roronoa Zoro's most iconic scene thus far, however, is easily the aftermath of his confrontation with Bartholomew Kuma. After seeing Kuma defeat his friends easily, Zoro courageously offers to hand over his life in exchange for theirs. This gesture impresses Kuma who decides to test Zoro's faith by having him deal with the literal concentration of Luffy's pain from that arc. As a relative human, Zoro was not going to take on all of that damage unscathed, but when it was all said and done, it was amazing to see him just stand still and pass off the event as if nothing happened. Number 7 is the worst generation versus Kaido. Kaido and Big Mom are two of the strongest villains in One Piece so far, which is why Luffy, Zoro, Kid, Killer, and Law had their hands full. Episode 1017 saw the group continue their fight against the two Yonko, and it featured incredible animation thanks to Yong CE2. The screenplay was handled by Akiko Inoue, and the stellar art was provided by Toshinori Ino. Each member of the worst generation gets a moment to shine in this episode, with Luffy, Kid, and Law each unloading their best attacks on Kaido, who laughs it all off. Big Mom enters the fray later on, and she uses her powers to unleash a miniature natural disaster. Number 6 is Luffy punching a celestial dragon. 
During the Sabra di Archipelago, the series introduced its most despicable line of villains yet, the Celestial Dragons. These are the political and financial elites of the world whose bloodlines tie back to the original founders of the world government. They have become infamous for abusing their power and enslaving everyday people for both their convenience and entertainment. After seeing these elites push around Sabradi's community for so long and especially after seeing Charlo shoot Hatchie, fans everywhere rejoiced when they saw Luffy punch him back into black and white. Number 5 is Luffy's clash with Katakuri. When Luffy first landed on Whole Cake Island, many were expecting him to have a big fight with Big Mom herself. Few were expecting his big fight to be with her eldest son and even fewer expected the fight to end up as one of the series' most memorable bouts. A huge part of that is Charlotte Katakuri debuting as one of the coolest yet terrifying villains yet who somehow managed to combine the silliness of jelly beans and donuts with lethal force. While there have been plenty of Haki clashes in the series before, none have been quite as impactful as the collision of fists between Big Mom's Vanguard and Luffy. Number 4 is Nico Robin saying she wants to live. Nico Robin saying that she wants to live is one of the most cathartic moments in the entire series. Several straw hats took a while before they became truly loyal to the flag. Zoro didn't officially join until he was defeated by Mihawk, Nami didn't join until the Arlong Park arc, Usopp had his moment after Ini's lobby, and Sanji, most recently, walked a hard road returning to the ship during the whole Cake Island arc. As touching as all of these character arcs have been, none have quite lived up to the emotional spectacle of seeing Nico Robin telling the crew that she wants to live. After seeing Robin's backstory and the Straw Hats drive to invade the Judicial Island, fans love to return to this moment to relive one of One Piece's best redemption arcs. Number 3 is the heartbreaking duel between Sanji and Luffy. Sanji's fight against Luffy is one where fans don't get to see a lot of action, but the true strength of the fight lies in the emotional weight that it carries. With the burden of protecting Zeph and saving his crewmates weighing on Sanji's mind, the cook decided to sacrifice himself for everyone's sake and ended up fighting his own captain in a heartbreaking duel. Luffy, realizing that, didn't even attempt to fight back and the result was Sanji leaving him bloody. Despite everything, Luffy truly understood Sanji's pain and withstood it all until Sanji eventually returned to him and rejoined the crew. Number 2 is Zoro cut Pika in half. After absorbing most of the stones in Dressrosa, Pika became as tall and powerful as a mountain. Since he could send his consciousness to any part of his construct, it almost appeared as though he was unbeatable. However, Zoro managed to cut the behemoth in half regardless of its size, dicing Pika into so many tiny pieces that he could not redirect his consciousness anywhere. This was especially impressive when considering that the average swordsman is not even able to rip through steel. Number 1 is Luffy makes it to the rooftop. Yamato tells Momonosuke how Ace gave him hope for the future, and this sequence includes gorgeous animation similar to that seen in the best Studio Ghibli films. Luffy finally makes it to the rooftop to confront Big Mom and Kaido with his allies, and he walks past the Yonko to tend to Kinnamon and the other samurai. 
When Law teleports them to safety, Luffy strikes Kaido with the most intense and beautiful attack in the series. This was the first time Luffy truly felt like the next Pirate King. And that's it for the top 10 best moments in One Piece. Please make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.